Tag team boxing? Nobody would do that. Man, maybe that's how Deji can finally get a win. That one there was a violation. Generic control in the deck goes to be here back with another video and usually this would be a TF2 video but last week I did who is the biggest war criminal from TF2 or basically which mercenary is the biggest war criminal from Team Fortress 2 and so many comments like literally dozens of comments and then a bunch of people like those comments asking for his punch out biggest cheater videos apparently he did two of them and i'm like okay it's supposed to be a tf2 video in this spot but everybody wants to punch out rope breakers and bubbles but fumbles you know check out that last week's video though i'll leave it right up there also link down below in the description it's also gonna be in a tf2 playlist on my channel with all the other tf2 reactions also here's my buddy wrath he has a channel called wrath 2501 he is less than 100 subscribers away from 100 thousand subscribers on his uh rat 2501 channel there's a shorts channel that video got 71,000 views which is actually nuts i've never played punch out i think it's a game where it's just kind of like you like dude to the side and you like do that from it's like you're behind and they're like really big and you're small or something i have no idea i've never played punch out like i said also shout out to the patrons they get the videos day early love to have a paywall channel also yesterday uh should have been a sao bridge episode 16 with kirby video which means next saturday is going to be the start of dragon ball z bridge with kirby so that's going to be awesome kirby's my best friend you all know and love her probably i read every single comment by the way so let me know if you want to see the second one or tf2 video or whatnot but i read every single comment reply to a lot of them as well but let's go ahead and jump on into this all right i've never played punch out i'm pretty sure it's that like old arcade game where you're like standing behind them and you just kind of like throw the punches I think 2009. Okay, Punch maybe one not one that. Longest tenured franchises using boxing as a template for what essentially boils down say it was to a puzzle or game is the longest. As all good puzzles should have to put those I'm points sorry, what? on our level. Are they playing chess in a boxing ring? You should take very seriously since you're going up against magical teleporting Indian men, guys wielding what? staves in the ring, and someone who thinks it's okay to kick in a boxing match. Well, well, all I these guys is a very valid question. Which is not a How thing. exactly does the governing body of Punch Out's boxing world define its rule set? The only way these flagrant fouls would be allowed is if there was literally no rule set whatsoever. Literally no if rules. This is somehow not grounds for at least a point reduction. You're gonna get someone with a knife in their gloves sooner rather than later. So or someone's gonna to bring exactly a gun into the room. boxers are breaking which rules of the sweet science. For this, I'll be looking at specifically Punch Out's Wii reboot from 2009, since not only There's is it the best Wii looking, reboot? it's like, the most detailed, and will allow us to see what exactly these racist characters are was doing. Was it like on the actual player. like Wii, like the Wii Wii, like the first Wii? Speaking of the player, how would that work? Like Wii Sports? The best place to start, given the fact he's your every man from the Bronx. It's safe to assume every that Mac is a pretty Bronx. standard boxer, and you'd be right. From his attire to his stance to how he conducts himself in the corner, Mac yeah, little Mac, almost every rule who's one of the worst of characters in Smash Ultimate apparently. The Association of Boxing Commissions and Combat Sports. There are a lot of unseens that we can assume oh, are God. followed, like proper fist wrapping, a clean checkup during the weigh-in, and no illegal substances. Although getting Substance. back health from Doc eating a chocolate bar is up for debate. However, oh. it's not a perfect record. See, Mac is actually breaking one of the most paramount rules in all of boxing. Which is... He's only 17. These fully grown men are unleashing bear hugs, hondo rushes, and dreamland expresses on a 17 year old. not even old enough to drink to numb the pain. This would automatically well, eight, disallow Matt drinking age 21. such a high level of competition. You can't even buy him. Wait, no, can't buy a date? Can't even vote. But maybe the WVBA allows him to compete for being a prodigy on Doc Lewis's recommendation? Either no. way, despite having the fundamentals down, Mac God, is just so do not boxing. ready. Some other admin like, I feel I should address. I'm 150 is pounds and 6'1 and nothing but muscle. Disallow these fights from happening. Long arms. First is weight classes. Mac is 107 pounds, putting him in the Jesus. light division. Jesus. The very first opponent he fights, Glass Joe, is 110 pounds, putting him in the flyweight division. If Mac wants to fight outside his weight class, he's going to need to at least reach the minimum weight for the class he wants to fight in. So he's yeah. up to at least 108 pounds. How would he <laughs> ever manage that? He could stand on his scale a little weirdly. But then drink a little bit of water. It's actually crazy what they pounds. do to get underneath. That's a weight class so far weight. ahead of Max own that it doesn't even exist. He's just heavyweight. Yeah, that's not a weight class. That's the sumo WWE wrestling. Isn't concerned with weight classes and will book freak show fights, which is all well and good for basically everybody except Little Mac. At his weight, it's very likely unless he plays the most defensive and evasive style ever devised, Until he, he will one be hit. killed in the ring. Weight classes exist for a reason, and with Little yeah. Mac's pitiful reach, he never so much be able to land bigger, a hit you're just on anyone. Stronger. So yeah, Mac would realistically never be able to go up against even Disco Kid, who's as far from Mac on the weight chart yep. as possible as heavyweight. But 
Let's say for the sake of this video being made that Mac could get into the ring. Which of his opponents is breaking the most rules? First I don't up know. Glass like, Joe, D minus yeah. in human form. This poor son Apparently of a gun is really 99 bad. in the hole with only a single win to his name. Granted, that win is against Nick Bruiser, former world heavyweight champion, so he's How? probably still riding that buzz. Did he cheat? All the way down to the mat. Everything about yeah, Joe is frankly sons. up to par. His gloves, trunks, boots, corner behavior is all he, up he to Get your snuff. gloves up, my guy. However, where we do have to mark an infraction is in his title defense match. Exclusive to punch out the is title defense mode. Apparently the helmet makes it worse. The 13 boxers from the base game with enhanced moves to make them championship Also, it doesn't case I have a boxing fight soon. What does Glass Joe get? A pillow tied to his head. In his intro cutscene after his 100th loss, it's shown that his doctor loss. is so scared for his safety that he won't let him compete without headgear. And now this is okay. a very, very big infraction. Possibly the biggest that you could get. Headpieces in boxing are strictly forbidden, as you're cushioning one of the but, most I mean, punchable parts. But I mean, professional. The, the only way that headgear is allowed is if both boxers get it. But little Mac. Doesn't. True. If Joe's taking reduced damage from headshots, he has an unfair damage. advantage. Is he talking? However, I'm not. Totally the animation is like just like Wii Sports. Sports. You see, in this game, if you lose 100 times, you get a headgear that you can wear during matches that will reduce damage. Wait. Now, I will say that if you've really? taken 100 KO losses in professional fights, a headgear now is about as effective as a mommy kiss on a decapitation. Yeah. That raises an interesting question. If Joe is fighting with this because he has to, does it count as an infraction? I mean, he literally can't no. fight without it thanks to his doctors in the WBBA. So, is it wrong? Yes, it no, is. It Unless must... Mac is also wearing one, you can't wear headgear. Now, but Mac in also their loses rules, hundred times and wears it, it's all up to board. Until he does, though, he's got one infraction against him. Von Kaiser That's comes it. next, and given the fact Von that he's shown being bullied by kids, I think Mac will do just fine. He's bullied by seems kids. Totally up to board, just like Joe. With that well, mustache, it's time to bust out a rule you might not have even thought about. Kaiser's hair? pants are actually the big problem. In really? boxing, it's required that you wear loose-fitting trunks that extend no further than the knees to better show off potential low blows. Kaiser is not only wearing them below his knees, he's got them tucked into his boots. That's an infraction Which, right there. Also, I don't, but given not that sure you've seen his boots. status as a boxing teacher, it's pretty safe to say that he's got no other major oversights in his boxing <laughs> style. Grade Disco three. Kid is after him, and as I Disco said before, this guy is massively out of Max Lee. Literally, he's double max own Six, weight. Three, At first, two, I thought ten? the disco ball in his intro could count as an outside electronic, which you can't have. But upon closer well, inspection, in the it's more likely than not a part of the bombed-out ghetto gym that these fights take place in. What it's in the world is he dancing? fighting arena on Mondays and Thursdays and senior bingo on the weekends. However, you can nail him for using headphones in the corner. He could yeah. very easily be receiving outside illegal advice through those. He could. Just no way to know. However, the biggest offense is in his title defense fight, where he foregoes the boxing How did he get a title? fashion forward leotard. While fitting in with his lifestyle choice to take up boxing wear that. Sizing, it's also bananas illegal. In boxing, bananas you have illegal. To have a clear line of demarcation between your trunks and your chest with the same boxing shorts. It also needs to contrast as to let your opponent know where it would count as a low blow. He's not even wearing uh, pants. Disco Kid is true. asking for low blows, and he has nobody to blame but himself. But Disco Kid, yeah, where does his shirt end? Setting two infractions. Here's hoping he doesn't get immediately. <laughs> yeah, that dude doesn't have a nose. A lot to unpack with King Hippo. Probably one of the most iconic King boxers Hippo? in the franchise. King Hippo is also lousy with rule breaks. Before the fight, he's a sumo wrestler. Starts, King Hippo's weight, height, and nationality are all unknown. What? By that what? logic, it's safe to say that he did not come to the required weigh-in and hasn't gotten a proper U.S. sanctioned boxing license. So he's boxing without a license. cannot be up to interpretation. Before <laughs> also, he wait. Thrown, he's already broken two rules. But then we get to the fight, and instantly we got a violation for head covering. That funny little crown may look good in marketing, but you don't get to take it into the ring with you. However, for the rest of the fight, he somehow manages to keep Dude, his gloves are like half the size there. of Max's like, body. That's a more public indecency thing than a boxing thing. In his title defense mode, however, we've got a bigger issue to deal with. So our title defense is like bigger this time. Mm, the but the more real difficult? issue to discuss is what's going on with his stomach. He's wearing body armor. But would you that is a manhole cover. The Those are man's heavy. Isn't the only problem here? Only in minor circuit fights are you allowed to have tape on your body. That's why the big X what? over his tummy is legal. In a world championship oh. fight, you can't have tape on your person. So taping the manhole covering huh. is a whole new rule break. King Hippo manages to break five different rules in his fights and Got puts him F. well ahead of the rest of the pack. Body armor, Moving how does this the major happen? circuit now, Piston Hondo is up, and with him we get the most... Oh, so these aren't, these aren't the, uh, 
literally the like only the, thing the you can get on is his headband. Got it. Okay. It's because it's a head covering and it might allow punches to slide off easier. Other than that, Hondo's playing the exact same game you are. This is even a oh. problem exclusive to the Wii version because in the original he fights without a headband. Oh. Sadly, though, he's been barred from competition for the most heinous crime that a boxer, reading, a human can commit: pirating manga. <laughs> After him is Bear Hugger, what? given the fact the game was Bear made Hugger. by a Canadian studio, you'd think they'd make this rep one of the more noble ones. No, probably not. No, no. no. With Bear Hugger. First is Bear Hugger. Just like Von Kaiser, you gotta be showing off those knees. Also, like Disco, <laughs> there's no the distinct knee. line between his upper and lower body. Not it's to a mention, in title defense, days. he's got a head covering too in the form of his hat. Now let's get on to the wholly unique infractions. Also, does he he's have like metal on? Bushy a beard. In boxing, you need to either be oh, so facial hair is or have thing. well groomed facial hair, and certainly okay. no beards are allowed. Something like that acts as a cushion for the jaw. In between rounds, he's also chugging on maple syrup and taking naps. This covers well, two whole McGregor, new what did he wear? The consumption of anything other than water while in the corner that you may associate with a certain someone else, and not taking the fight seriously. I don't get not that. Not only is it disrespectful, but it's also a breaking of the rules. However, let's get the big one out of the way. He's not fighting alone. Bearhugger brings a squirrel with him into the ring for ten. He has a events. pet squirrel. Let's ignore Dude, squirrels the animal cruelty because it's shown that the squirrel gave consent. It's shown that the squirrel gave consent. So bumbles make fumbles. And instead, that's it. On the rule that's of a boxing sentence. That only the fighters and the ref can enter the ring. You can't do tag team boxing, despite how cool that sounds. Tag team boxing? Nobody would do that. Seven different rule breaks in the ring. Boy, I sure hope. Man, maybe that's how Denji can finally get a win. I'm sorry. This one's just it's weird. Let's get the elephant teleport? out of the room for now and just deal with him later. First off is the obvious head covering. Can't do that. Yeah. Also, he's wearing full pants rather than boxing trunks. It's blasé at this point. And also yeah. the last boxer in the game to break this rule, since from here on out, we're all playing fair in the pants game. He also leaves huh. the ring at the points, Good which enough. is incredibly illegal, which he can only <laughs> do because of... Uh, Super felony. No, let's just get it over with. Now... Wait, in the unified just... rules of boxing, that's... there isn't anything exactly outlawing the use of magic, but at the same time, I feel like that's only because Evander Holyfield never tried a fucking cup and ball trick in the middle of a match. So, he's obviously cheating with the use of magic, but it's not that easy. Essentially, is, is I there, to make up a is there a rule against magic in boxing? Do I penalize him under each different class of magic used? Do I penalize him once under the broad umbrella of magic usage in general? Are clones counted as outside influences despite the fact that they're the same guy? If the clones can't I... do damage to Little Mac, are they a threat? But Ultimately, it came down him. to this. I'm handing out an infraction for the teleportation, one for the floating, and I'll give him an infraction equal floating. to the maximum amount of clones he uses in one fight, which is in his Mirage Dance, where he uses a clone in the back and one to try to pincer you. So, I'm giving oh. him overall four infractions for the usage of magic. That lands Tiger with eight infractions when you add in the use of a that's, that's, carpet, that's bad. Which again, 5'11", isn't nobody's 5'11". The rules, but I'm just pretty confident about it. Call it a hunch. As a breath yeah. of fresh air, Don Flamenco only gets two infractions, with the first being for, for the toupee that he wears during matches. For that's a head pay. covering, and as unlikely a strike to the top of the head is, and no matter how little it covers, an infraction is still an infraction. I don't think you However, really his second one head. is for one that you might not have even seen coming. In his mid-match corner rests, he'll spritz himself with perfume. You can't do that. There are that. actually a few reasons that this is illegal. First off, the use of an aerosol can be used as an irritant for the other boxer, as the scent can disorient them. And the actual guess, perfume yeah. applied can cause the gloves to slip off. But key amongst these well, facts is that, why is they that put in the corner, on? only an adrenaline solution, avatine, and thrombin are allowed to be applied. Unless that thing is filled with liquid are, adrenaline, you can't it. have it. I'm also iffy on if this counts as magic, but I'm willing to let it slide as it's outside of the fight. Recreational magic is fine, but that really looks like the worst of the cheaters are behind us as we move on to the world. Goes into a big card. Exactly. Ah! Oh fuck that! Soda Popinski is next, and let's just get the oh, obvious no. one out of is the that, way. Oh, that was the show before. Just like Bear Hugger syrup, you can't drink soda while in the corner. But he brings soda. a whole new level of cheating by doing it in the middle of a match. Not only does oh. he already fall under the previously explained rule, but just he's also bringing more like objects into the ring. Not to mention he's a bottle. sloppy drinker, and by getting soda onto his chest, he's applying an illegal substance to his body. I'm sure you know how sticky soda can be, so imagine Man. trying to punch someone drenched in it. 
But now for the big one, as he's the only boxer that we know of that's doping. That we see doctors making him special oh. soda in a lab that lets him pull a truck with his teeth. And he's guzzling 18 bottles of this stuff in a match in his title defense. He brings it case with him. Doping is one of the most frowned upon things to do in sports. And to do it six, in front of six. a crowd at the expense of innocent Fanta is almost admirably bold. Bald Bull comes next, and with a head shape like that, you Bull? can imagine he's gotten a few broken rules under his belt. For starters, oh, between God, rounds, he's trying to apply hot like towels that? to himself, which, given the rules of boxing, he can't do. You can only apply oh, a cold towel to yourself if you want to use one, but maybe it could be a cold towel, and he's just so hot from boxing that he's that could steaming. be it. I'm willing to give him that one, but yeah. what I can't budge on is his rage issues. Bald Bull just sort of rampages and wins fights by accident rather than on purpose. By accident. As such, after winning the title in title brain. defense mode, he's so blinded with rage that he attacks the ref, throwing him out That's of the ring. That's a big no-no. That doesn't just get you a penalty, that gets you, that banned, gets you banned for banned. life. Ever. As well, when he's in the corner, he's shown lifting weights, something I'm not exactly sure on the legality of, leaning on the side form, of no, but, okay. but when you get to the point that you start hucking them into the crowd, I feel like that's enough to get the ref to ask you to leave. Super Macho yeah. Man comes next, and with him he brings a ton of infractions. One of a kind, too, of so that's on. good for him, Mike. Long guess. hair, maybe? First off is the gold chain and earrings that he yeah. wears. The uh, rules dictate that you can't have any piercings, and you need to take them out before a fight starts. Speaking of attire, his trunks have personal branding on them, which is strictly forbidden. Along with that, Wait, in between rounds, branding? he's taking questions from the press, which violates rules regarding <laughs> press distance from the ring, allowing is them that only on specific too? sides of the ring Jesus. from a certain distance. On top of that, he's got a personal electronic with him in the camera that he's taking selfies with. Then there's the foreign object he brings into the ring when he puts sunglasses on to try to hit the super macho clothesline. Speaking of which, what? I think it's fair to say that there's a little bit of a chance that there's outside interference. The flash photography uh, only gets bright when he goes for the clothesline, and him putting on the glasses acts as a signal oh. to the audience members to start flashing their bulbs to mess with Little Mac. And then, oh, presumably thinking that that was okay. a little too subtle of a cheat, he just cold clocks the ref. However, Which banned this for is life. also a time where there's a non-fighter that gets a rule penalty. As in title defense mode, the lighting manager would earn an infraction by discriminating against Macho Man and not shining the light mm. on him. It doesn't mm. matter if they're fighting, thing? it's still a penalty that's boxing related. So Finally is guy? Mr. Sandman, the world champ, and there's a reason. This Mr. guy's Sandman, entire like John strategy Sandman? is sound, completely and utterly. Makes sense since this guy isn't a cartoon What's character like the rest. He's a boxer. The most you could True. levy against him is the fact that in title defense, there isn't a clear line of demarcation between his waistband and trunks. They're both black, so it could be difficult, but the different texture eh. used and the fact that the stripes oh, on the side of the trunk okay. stop at the waist could be enough. Given the fact uh, that yeah. no one in the WBBA wants to tell him he can't wear his trunks like that, I'm going to say it's less of a violation and more please of a please go me. and change if that's okay, Mr. Champion, sir. Mr. Champion, sir. I was putting five. this one off because the highest amount of infractions thus far is Great Tiger with eight. Eight? But this boxer this has 19. Let's go, let's go! What? Aaron Ryan Wh is the first boxer in the world circuit and was made to represent the typical dirty boxer. But they didn't have to go with this far with it. Aaron Why Ryan is may he... be a fellow countryman, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let slip what he tries to pull. Starting what off, he... it's safe to assume that for the whole game, boxers have been getting their gloves the standard way. In a professional boxing fight, boxers get their gloves provided by the venues. However, yeah. because Aaron Ryan's using loaded gloves, he's clearly bringing them from loaded home. Gloves? On top of that, we know that he wraps his wrists properly, but yet again, that's something that he did at home, and it wasn't inspected by the ref. Bringing these things from home Why and not, not having them inspected is four penalties already. And that's not to mention the little fact that he has loaded horseshoes in his boxing gloves! Which is he's a big no-no. He's killing Little Mac at this pace. On top of that, he's ah, shown throwing out the classic space, boxing maybe. cheats trying to throw elbows and headbutts at Little Mac, as well as jumping off the ropes for that headbutt. Including that, he's also shown potentially trying to throw the fight by allowing Mac what? to get free hits in, literally asking him to Wait, hit him. No rep you, would allow no? that, but that's not it. You can allow that. Ryan or maybe it's not boxing that. Mac maybe it's the bell sounds between rounds, and in doing such, throws the ref away. That's one of the Major biggest no-nos in boxing, and it's just one of the nearly two dozen infractions that Aaron Ryan accrues. Another thing to note is that there is a difference in the rules regarding intent to cheat and actually cheating. If you load your gloves, that's one strike. Actually throwing a punch is a different one entirely. However, this is all before his biggest infraction in title defense mode. What? Not only does he steal Max gloves from the minor circuit after breaking his old ones, he then goes on to fashion his old gloves into a flail! So into obviously, a what? bringing a weapon into oh. the ring as well as using that weapon are illegal. But that's his not own even gloves? it. The glove he's using as a flail is old and ragged, and the rules state that if a glove is in such bad condition, it should be replaced by the venue. So even his cheating what? is cheating! 
even more. When he gets knocked down, he'll attempt to throw one he more swing with like his weapon. Minion. And when a fighter is going down, they can't throw any more punches. The ref is going down? down and is waiting to deliver the 10 count. And oh, finally, Ryan okay. is also seen inciting and fighting with the crowds to the point that they start throwing stuff into the ring. That's it's good. almost admirable how much cheating he, he manages to, to sneak into a fight that probably won't take that long. It's so not even close no that Aaron is cheating twice as Go hard away. as the next two biggest cheaters combined. And they were bringing in squirrels, clones, and magic. Aaron Ryan did Literally his cheating do all this on floating. his own. This goes beyond being banned from competition. He's going to be killed at this rate. Definitely would. Definitely would. The WBBA is going to have a this, hell of a lot of yeah. paperwork to go through to clear up these infractions. And without these cheaters, the league would probably be like three people, and one of those people would be Glass Joe, and that's not much of a league. So please accept my Glass for Joe, a new little Mac designed to line up with the, the rest champion of these flagrant rule Mac. breakers. Little Mac so, with a gun. Um, um, as you um, you can see here that um, I, I it doesn't have fingers pull trigger though. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, yeah, people wanted this. People wanted me to do this video, because last week I did which TF2 mercenary is the biggest war criminal, and everybody's like, do his punch out biggest cheater series. So that's why I did this, and let me know if you want to see the second one. Also, check out my buddy Wrath. Wrath2501 is his channel. He's less than 100 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers, which is awesome dude he did this video as well on that was his secondary channel because his main channel got like permanently demonetized for some reason he never found out why and youtube's done with stuff like that like my channel got deleted a little over two years ago and i had to start all the way back over i didn't get my channel back however he managed to get his new his old channel back so that's where at 25 when that's when that's almost at 100k which is awesome but this is really interesting. I didn't know Punch Out was that deep. I didn't know they came up with a new version of Punch Out. All I know is like the super old one that I always saw with like they were just moving side to side. It was like super pixelated and stuff. So, huh, Punch Out Rule Breakers. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. Next week might be the who's the biggest cheater in T and not TF2, biggest cheater in Punch Out 2. I don't know how he's gonna do wait, wait. Why is there Donkey Kong? Rumble in the jungle? Is that like a DLC now with Donkey Kong? How, did the did they do like a Donkey Kong, like a Nintendo collab and like add Nintendo characters? Like, is there going to be Mario and Luigi and Wario and stuff? I have no idea. I read every single one of your comments, so leave some down below. Hope you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. It would really mean a lot to me. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were